Hi there, welcome to Brain Bionomy. My name is Keith and today's video is a beginner introduction to hydroponics. We will review quickly what are the core elements of every hydroponic system and how does it differ from traditional farming. Let's get started. First, what is the main difference between hydroponic farming and traditional farming? To put it simply, it is all about the medium in which the plant grows and scavenge for elements it needs to survive. In hydroponic, the soil is replaced by a nutrient-rich water solution, and all the requirements a plant needs to grow and thrive are directly met by the farmer. These requirements include oxygen, water, nutrients, root support, and light. Let's quickly review two diagrams to see how are these requirements met in traditional farming versus hydroponic farming. So, here we have a plant growing in soil the old school way. If we had a mic microscope at hand, we would be able to see that around the roots of the plant, there are little pore spaces where air and water is present. In addition to providing air and water, the soil will also be the support system for the roots to hang on to and will contain the nutrients the plant needs for its development. Finally, all of this will be powered by natural sunlight. Now, how does this differ from a hydroponic system? To understand this, let's review why does a plant need water, oxygen, light, nutrients, and root support, and how are these provided in all hydroponic systems. The first element is water. Plants use it for transportation of nutrients, photosynthesis, and to stand upright. So why? for transportation, photosynthesis, and structure to stand upright. In a hydroponic system, this water is often provided filtered with a pH between 6 to 6.5. Then we have oxygen, which is needed for plant respiration. If there is no oxygen, the plant will drown. This is provided either through directly exposing the roots to air or by managing the level of dissolved oxygen in the water with a water pump, for example. The root support will be the structure to which the roots attach themselves to. Common materials, also called substrates, used for this are perlite, coco coir, rock wool, and a bunch of others. After that, we have the nutrients, which supports plant growth and health. And the most common ones are the famous NPK, which refers to nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Finally, light because if there is no light, there is no photosynthesis. The type and quantity of light a plant needs every day, also called daily light integral, DLI, for each plant can be met through natural light or artificial light. Now, let's go back and add that to our diagram. Here is our hydroponic system. This one is based on the Kratky method, which is, according to our Wikipedia friend, a passive hydroponic technique for growing plants suspended above a reservoir of nutrient-rich water. It's one of the simplest methods. Let's place our elements. First, the root support. Here we have some clay pebbles, and the roots will use that as a medium to grow around and support the stem of the plant. Then the air, or the oxygen, which the plants will use for its respiration through the roots. In this case, the system used direct exposure 
with the air in the container. Below that, we have the water in which nutrients have been added. And finally, the daily light integral, again, the type and quantity the plant needs every day, is met with artificial light. This is it for a quick introduction to the basics of hydroponics. In the next videos, we will review the advantages of hydroponics over traditional methods, but also its disadvantages, because nothing is perfect. If you found this video helpful in some way, drop a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.